Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. We are in the sequel series to Pokemon Coliseum. And I just gotta say, it is, uh, it's, it's kind of cool to be here. Um, this game, I haven't played it in quite a long time, which is the same thing with the uh, Coliseum. But I'm still very happy that I uh, get to relive this part of my childhood. Um, mostly because this is... I, I don't know if I said this in the Coliseum playthrough, but this is probably going to be the last time I've played these games for years. Um, just because the last time I played them, I was like 13, and now I'm like 24. So, <laughs> it's just... It's just... It's just so cool to be able to revisit this, uh, the era of ROMs and whatnot, um, give us the ability to do what we want. Now, even though I played Pokemon Coliseum completely straight, I'm actually going to, uh, I'm going to use mods. Well, not mods, but, uh, I've heard of this, like, modded version of this game, but I'm not going to play it because I don't know how to set it up. But I am going to use, um, some hacks to get some unique Pokemon in here. Um... And this is our new protagonist. Um, his canon name is uh, Michael, so we're gonna go with his canon name. Um, unfortunately, he is nowhere near as cool as Wes, but he's still pretty cool in his own right. Um, but Wes is off the grid. Um, there is not even an inch of him uh, seen in this game, uh, which is a shame. It kind of sucks though, though. This game does look a lot better um, than Coliseum did. I feel like a lot was lost that Coliseum had that grit and that edge. This game feels a lot more traditionally Pokemon, if you know what I mean. Like, um, or went from being this desert wasteland, like almost Mad Max type of place where anything could happen and savages were all over the place, dirt, crooked towns and things like that, to being a much more Pokemon world. But like, Pyrite Town being like the last kind of like grungy place Whereas like, in Coliseum, you had the Under, you know, the Coliseum and things like that. Now you don't even have those, which is a bit disappointing, but it is what it is, right? Um, what matters now is the, the future, so to speak. Um, and so here we are. Um, I have decided on the evolution I will be going for um, in this playthrough. And it's going to be Vaporeon. Um, and there's a reason for that. It's because uh, uh, in the, the spirit of Coliseum, um, this game only gives you one starter, but that one gave you two. It gave you an offensive starter and it gave you a defensive one. And it did Umbreon and Espeon. And since you, I wouldn't, I, I, you can't really do another pairing, you know? You can't do, uh, oh, that sucks. I can't, I guess I do. But it, um, you can't do uh, another pairing, you know what I mean? Um, I actually, I would have won had I not gotten poisoned. That's unfortunate. Oh well. I don't think you get anything for winning. Still, though, that kind of sucks. Um, I'm sorry, I was saying. So, but yeah, you can't pair two evolutions like Jolteon and Flareon and not have the third one. And I'm not going to do a team full of three, so I'm going to do uh, Pikachu and Eevee. So that's going to be the modded Pokemon I decided to go for. And it's going to be Pikachu as my offensive starter and uh, Vaporeon as the defensive one. But anyways, that's enough about it. All right, Michael, this will do for today. Me getting bodied? Nice try, Michael. You came up just a little short. Did you find a little dis uh, disconcerting to be without your trusty Eevee? Still, your aptitude for battling is very acute. If you keep up your training, you'll get tougher for sure. What is my Eevee stats? I need to have a decent one. Oh, it's a girl. It's Sassy. Sassy is plus uh, defense minus attack, right? Oh, might as well check. Sassy nature Pokemon. It's plus special defense minus speed. Oh, cool. I think Vaporeon isn't even a particularly fast Pokemon anymore. While it is a bulky water, for sure. Right. Yeah, it's got base 65 speed. Um, it actually is, yeah, this is actually a solid nature for Vaporeon. 
um, just because it has it has low defenses, but it has high HP and it has high special defense, and Sassy increases its special defense. So why not? I'd rather it have a uh, high s defense than higher speed when the Pokemon's not necessarily fast to begin with. An incredible aptitude for battling. Didn't I just get my ass beat though? Oh, and I can now officially save anywhere. I think that's a big deal personally. Not a lot of people agree though. Alright. It still does this weird aspect ratio thing. Hello, Michael. Are you done with training for now? You must be tired. But seeing you like this, my Michael, you have grown to be, uh, grown up to be a young lad. Michael, if only your father were here to see how much you've grown. Oh, I'm sorry. I promised that I wouldn't mention that. Please, pay it no heed. Alright, what happened to Pops? Why are these dads never around? Oh, hello, Michael. Welcome. I'm writing up a summary on the basis of Pokemon battles. Like I said, it's mostly basic information, but if you care to look, I've written my summary on the whiteboard. Is what? Okay. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. Uh, we're supposed to go into this room, but let's explore a little bit. Yeah, this game is much more traditionally in line with uh, what we know to expect from Pokemon. Welcome, Michael. Our project is critical junction, so we're very busy. And, oh, yes, feel free to use the PC and healing machine. We're in the midst of developing a system to purify Shadow Pokemon. Purify is a term we use to describe the process which a Shadow Pokemon's closed heart is made to open back. It, didn't the Shadow Pokemon pandemic stop? You see, five years ago, criminals used artificial means to close the hearts of Pokemon, turning them into fighting machines. We're developing the system to save such afflicted Pokemon. We call this system the Purify Chamber. It's not necessary in today's peaceful time, but one never knows what might happen. Yeah. Switch is okay, next to just this here. Man, that's so much to do. I'm not far off from a panic attack. I might have to take a break. Oh, that's right, Michael. If you're gonna take a break, don't forget to save. What's saving? Oh, she's asleep. Huh? Here at the Pokemon HQ Lab, we undertake a great variety of research on Pokemon from their ecosystems to battle. Uh-oh, it's you, Michael. You scared me out of my wits. Yeah, almost like you're sleeping on the job. Hiya, Michael. I haven't seen you for a while. Are you doing well? What I happen to be working on is a special machine for catching Pokemon. You want to know if it has anything to do with the Purify Chamber? You called it. This machine and the Purify Chamber are both the results of the same project. Having said that, I sincerely hope that the need to use this machine never arises. I will probably be using it later. But that's likely the snag machine. Huh, my boy Wes. He was so cool. And now Michael's gotta be his admittedly less cool, but more adorable successor. Hey Michael, weren't you with Jovi? I saw Jovi with her Mimi earlier, so I figured you were with her too. Oh boy, the world of Pokemon is so deep. The more I study them, the more I'm inspired by the fast and, uh, fantasticalness of it all. For example, you know all Pokemon have types and abilities, right? If you keep those facts in mind and apply them to battling, you can always give an advantage over, get a, gain an advantage over your Pokemon. Over their Pokemon. Yeah, or their Pokemon. Something like that. Let's see. And do. Eh. Poison and we'll I guess be annoying at some point. Can I go anywhere? No. I can't. Boring, I guess. What's going on up here? My Pokemon and I were always together, even when we're sleeping. If you want to become friends with your Pokemon, companionship is very important. I imagine. Hi, Michael. Is your sister with you? It's rare to see you without Jovi. You two get along so good together. Why? It makes me happy seeing you two together. This is Mother and Jovi's room. Okay. And I guess, and this is your boy's room. It's Michael's room, but lately his kid sister appears to have the run of the place. <laughs> Potion. I don't get why 
the aspect ratio freaks out, but it just does. I mean, let's go upstairs. We bring you OMBS news. Authorities still have failed to find any traces of the cargo ship SS Libra since its sudden disappearance off the coast of Gatenport. There have been no reports of floats that may indicate that ship sinking. The authorities appear mystified by the way the ship vanished like smoke. There are reports that numerous Pokemon were on board. Concern is rising over their welfare. Ooh. We know what happened. Rumor has that there was a new Pokemon that even Professor Crane has never seen on that missing ship. It's very worrying. I hope Pokemon on board are safe from harm. Bombs lie, I think. A huge cargo ship just doesn't vanish into thin air. They have to be more careful when searching. The ship probably had engine trouble. It must be adrift in the sea somewhere. I haven't been able to... I haven't been to the Krabby Club for a while. It's nice to catch Razzle and Dazzle's show again. Michael, don't blow my cover. Trevor will find me. I've been, hiding, playing, I've been playing hide and seek with my Kecleon. I guess I've been hiding here for two, around two hours now. Must be a genius to hide and seek. You are not doing shit. There is a Kecleon there. Holy crap. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. Really? Okay. It's locked from inside. I have to manually go around that stuff. Alright, I will be right back. I'm gonna see if I can get some mods up and, or the action replay codes up and running. Okay, I'm back, guys. Um, fair warning, though. Uh, this game is an Enkit file, so it runs a bit worse than Pokemon Coliseum does. Uh, but it's fine. That thing seems to be running smoothly enough, but you'll get some jitteries every now and then. So just know that there isn't much I can do about it because I can't find an official iOS, uh, a regular iOS ISO file for this game. Um, and you'll hear, like, weird, like, musical, like, drops and dips every now and then. So I, I apologize for that. Hi, Michael. Have you finished training? Michael, this is director's, the director's office. Did you want to pay a visit to Professor Crane? <laughs> you don't need to be that stiffly official, Lily. But, oh yes, I've heard the battle coaching singing high, the battle coach singing high praises about you, Michael. I've heard that your battling skills have improved dramatically recently. That's outstanding. I sure don't think I'd stand much of a chance against you. I wish everyone wouldn't drown them with such gushing praise all the time. My son and daughter will become spoiled rotten. There's nothing to worry about. Both Michael and Jovi are wonderful kids. By the way, I don't think I've seen Jovi since lunchtime. Michael, I hate to bother you, but you go find Jovi for me? Michael, I think you already know, but several research projects are in their critical phases in this lab. That's why your mother can't afford to take so uh, any time off right this instant. So please, honey, will you go and find Jovi for me? Yeah, why not? Thank you, I'm counting on you. I don't think she could have gone it off too far, but just in case, check outside too. I'm sorry, Michael. After five long years, this project is finally on the verge of coming together. But for that to happen, we can't do without your mother's expertise. Oh, yes. I left a PDA in your room, Michael. Go check it out. PDA stand yep, can be used for email, among other things. I'm sure you'll find its many useful features. It's quite easy to use. Yep. We're back in this region. Okay, around this Pokemon, we place uh, these regular Pokemon like so. Oh, hi, Michael. My job is to assemble basic data for the Purify Chamber. If the chamber is built, it will be useless without this data. Understandable. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here it is. There's something on the desk. If you're reading this email, then you must try. Uh, you must have obtained the PDA. Try it out. It's many. Uh, try out its many features. By the way, Adon was playing hide and seek with Jovi. Why not have a chat with him? 
Adon. That's the guy upstairs. But you startled me. Oh, hi, it's Mike. Yeah, I know. You're looking for Jovi? We're supposed to be hanging out in the room. She's gone off to Dr. Kaminiko's manor. This place. Okay. Jovi. It, uh, Jovi's it in our game of hide and seek, and I wish she'd find me soon. My back is starting to hurt. Fair enough. Hey Michael, I heard about you. Sounds like you've been... Instead of a version, how about a real battle? Yeah, bet. Man. This guy's my first battle. It's nowhere near as impressive as, uh... What we, what we did on the outskirts, but it'll do. Well, that was an eye opener, Michael. You become a lot tougher without me noticing. Okay, I'll train using the battle sim system too. That's what I'll do. Yeah. Here we go. Groudon statue. Wait, who goes there? Where were you? You must be a burglar. Chobin will put you straight. Don't you move. Chobin is the name, and Chobin is the number one assistant to Dr. Kamiko. Shut the truck up. Red ass lips. One of the downsides to Colosseum, though, is at the start of the game, you are facing, like, weak Pokemon. Like, incredibly weak Pokemon with your really good Pokemon. This game, it's a little bit more acceptable, though. Because everyone's kind of on the low levels at this point. Also, the characters animate when their Pokemon take damage and stuff. It's cool. I like it. Chobin lost. Yeah, Chobin got freed up. He has eyes off her lips. That's weird. You made Chobin angry now. Even though Chobin lost, you're still not going to pass Chobin. Huh? Closer observation reveals that the subject is a child. Ergo, the subject is not a burglar. Hey, I mean, children can burglars. Chobin wishes you spoke up right away. You're Michael? Chobin apologizes for jumping to the wrong conclusion. Oh shit, this thing looks annoying. Oh, big brother, what are you doing here? Oh, Jovi gets it. Big brother, you got lost, didn't you? No. Uh, uh, uh there's no hiding stuff from Jovi. Because Jovi knows. Why do you talk about yourself in the fucking... This big house is Dr. Comico's job. Dr. Comico's job... Oh, it's, this big house is Dr. Comico's. Dr. Comic Comico's job is to make incredible inventions. There's a whole bunch of 
neat machines like that, uh, like they have at Pokemon HQ Lab. You should come in too, big brother. All right. Michael, you're that girl's older brother. Sometimes she comes here. She wanders around everywhere. Chopin finds it hard keeping on, at uh, keeping an eye on her, so she does not bother the doctor. Oh yes, Michael, you still have a look at Dr. Comico's inventions. You will, yes? Okay, then this way, please. Follow Chobin. Downside. Major downside. Michael rides a fucking, like, moped scooter thing. And, like, remember Wes's crazy-ass big wheel with the fucking 20 mufflers and sh Oh, man. Okay, Chobin. Chobin will now show you the interve uh, the inventions of the es inestimable... Inestimable... Yeah, in the, I think that's how you say that. Dr. Kamenko. Dr. Kamenko's inventions, it, it needs to be said, are number one in the world. Chobin is full of admiration. Oh, why does Chobin know what they are? Number one in the world? That needs explaining. In the whole wide world, no one but Dr. Kamenko would invent such inventions. Therefore, they are number one in the world without question. Dr. Kamenko, who is very great, is inventing that room in that room right there. Okay. Hi, Doctor. What kind of funny machine are you making this time? Chobin wants to know. Uh-oh, that girl is uh, at Dr. Kamiko's side again. Chobin hopes she isn't causing a disturbance. Anyway, let Chobin acquaint you with some of the Dr. Kamiko's greatest invention. Let the VCR roll. Look at his fucking lips, dude. That's crazy. Inventions are number one in the world. Chobin's choice is that. Ta-ta, ta-da, the unhealthy sandals. The insole is stubbed with lumpy nubs that fail to stimulate every pressure point in a fabulous way. Keep wearing these and Chobin will guarantee painful feet and chronic worsening of your health. This is like telling somebody to step on a Lego as unironic advice. Incredible, it is not. Uh, incredible, is it not? There is much more than that too. The doctor's inventions, which are fantastic, can be seen on this monitor. Chobin gives you permission to use this anytime you like. I don't give a fuck. Jovi, let's go. Yo, Doc, what's up? Hmm? Incidentally, child, how long have you been here? I just got here, bro. You seen me walk through the door? What's this way? You there, you child. That area is off limits. For now. Jovi, let's go. Hi, right, big brother. This is a very funny drawing. It's a really detailed drawing of a really weird machine. Huh? Are you going home already, big brother? But you just got here. Oh, Jovi gets it. Jovi has to show you how to go home, right? Okay, that's what Jovi will do. Jovi will take you home. Mimi, let's go home with Big Brother. Interesting, this one has a mine in. Even though Duking... Duking had a Plusl, so it's kind of cool how Plusl was for uh, Coliseum and mine in for XD. Jovi will visit again, Doctor. Alright, let's roll. You appear to have traveled far in your search for Jovi. Please come back to the HQ as soon as you, as you find her. I need your help with something. I'm good. What is it? What is it? Email from the professor? He wants you to come home quickly? Jovi is worried about letting you go by yourself, big brother. So Jovi will come home too. Jovi, shut up. Now let's go. Damn, his house is pretty far from the lab. She walked here? How did she get there? Oh, hi, Mommy. We're back. Oh, Jovi, haven't I told you not to wander away by yourself? Mommy, you don't understand. Big Brother was lost, so Jovi brought him here. If Jovi weren't there, Jovi bets he'd be crying by now, saying he can't go home. Right, Big Brother? I should name myself Yugi. This kid reminds me of Yugi so much. Oh my my. Jovi, you're such a brave and resourceful child. But that's quite enough for today. Besides, Adon must be tired waiting for you. Oh my gosh, I was in the middle of hide and seek. Okay, brother, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Michael, thanks for finding Jovi for me. Oh yes, Refresher Crane wanted to see you, Michael. Go see him right away. Where the fuck is he? Is he in here? No. Is he in here? No. Oh, 
Oh, Michael, welcome back. Were you gone far away? The director, he went downstairs a little while ago. Professor Crane did. You didn't bump into him? How did I miss him? Ain't no fucking way I missed him. Hi there, Michael. I've been waiting for you. I wanted to show you the snag machine. Has, uh, has Aiden said anything to you about the snag machine? Yes. Oh, I see. Yes. Well, we've named this special machine for catching Pokemon, the snag machine. The two of us, Aiden and I, were developing it, and now it's finally finished. I'd like to begin testing it immediately. Will you help us? Yeah. Okay, step inside. I should tell you, the snag machine is an outra uh, outrageous piece of work. After all, it's used for stealing Pokemon from another trainer in battle. But we didn't make it uh, make this to steal Pokemon indiscriminately from trainers. Michael, you've heard of Shadow Pokemon, haven't you? They are Pokemon that have been turned into fighting machines after having their hearts closed by artificial means. They are to be pitied. We developed the snag machine to take back such modified Pokemon. Why this machine is needed now, I can explain later. But for now, I'd like you to test our snag machine. After all, you're the best trainer at this lab. I'm like 10. The snag machine is inside this case. Try equipping it right away, please. All right. It doesn't look as cool as Wes's, but it does look cool. Wow, it fits you perfectly. It looks cool too, Michael. I'll also add a new feature to your PDA. It's called Shadow Monitor. It lets you check data on the Shadow Pokemon you've encountered. Okay. Shadow Monitor. Thank you, Aiden. That's it, Michael. That's spot on. From here on, it'll be a lot easier to show you how it works in practice rather than trying to describe it. Let's go upstairs to the battle sim room. Whoops, how silly of me. I forgot to give you these. In order to use the stack machine, you need to have at least one Pokeball, so I'll give you these. Okay. Pokeballs aren't used in the Aura region, so we import them from another region. Okay, now we're set. Let's hurry over to the director. What the? What's going on? Who are you people? It's terrible, Michael. Some strange men came barging in and took off with the director. Damn. Then they put this dude on the ground. Him too. Will you let go of me? Where do you think you're taking me? I'm taking you to your new lab, Professor. What? My new lab? Move it. We don't have any time. If you don't want to get hurt, hustle yourself into the car. Mm. You people, what are you? You good? No, nope, he's not good. Hey, fuck you. Give him back. What is it, punk? You're going to play hero and try and stop us? I don't show mercy to anyone, not even kids. By naps. The nappy headed. Alright. Now we don't need Yui to do this. What is that? Michael, the aura reader is responding. That's a shadow Pokemon. Hurry, Michael. Throw a Pokeball at it. Got it. bet what was that my shadow Pokemon was that was it was it a snack yeah I stole it kid what is that machine on your arm could it be a snag machine what the heck is that doing here that's big news Come on, move. I need to report this to headquarters like now. Mm -hmm. 
Man, I suck. I didn't do anything to stop them. They took the professor away. Don't cry, Jovi. I'm sure Professor Crane will be okay. I mean, they're not going to kill him. They clearly want something from him, so... We've contacted the police and the proper authorities about Professor Crane. They should let us know if they discover anything. I still can't believe that this is happening. Professor Crane predicted that someone will again try to make Shadow Pokemon. His prediction was on the mark. Michael, the Teddy Earth you snack probably isn't the only one, uh, the only Shadow Pokemon that was made. When the Purified Chamber is completed, we'll be able to save many Shadow Pokemon at the same time, but... Professor Crane is a crucial to this project. Without him, there's nothing we can do. Her face looks super derpy. Let's complete it. We'll finish the Purified Chamber ourselves. Lily, the director's not here. It's hopeless. There isn't any possible way to get it done. You're on the verge of finishing. This isn't the uh, this isn't the time to feel sorry for yourself. The Purified Chambers project got this far not just because the professor was here. We got here because we all worked as a team. Having come this far, it would be wrong to stop now. Our pride as scientists is on the line. Let's finish the project as one. Things will get very busy around here. I'll go upstairs and check uh, check how the data processing is progressing. Okay. Me? I'm, uh... Look at this Teddy Ursa. I'm probably gonna... I guess I'll keep going. Where do I go from here? It's the question. Where'd she go? Do you remember the Shadow Incident five years ago? A criminal syndicate named Cypher plotted world domination by producing Shadow Pokemon as their weapons. I do know about that. Fortunately, two brave young people defeated Cypher and the uh, Shadow Pokemon were restored to their natural self. The tale is becoming the stuff of legend nowadays. My boy Wes is in the, he is, uh, the history book. The basic data uh, should be fine now. Keep going with it. Michael, you came at the right time. May I get you to run an errand for me to get in port? We've ordered a, a special machine part for the purified chamber from the parts shop. All right, gate and port we go. Jovi knows the parts shop. It's next to Emily's house. Mommy, can Jovi go? Jovi wants to help everyone. I appreciate your offer. I know you want to help, but it's an important component. Okay, Jovi, you're a member of the last staff too. You may go if you want to take Michael with you. Dear, would you mind going with Jovi? No! Okay, mommy. Big brother is Jovi's assistant. You have to listen to Jovi. No! Man. Michael, Jovi, both of you be very careful, please. I'm counting on you two. I could have done it by myself. It's alright. I know a lab that's in the desert that I might have taken him to. We'll get there, though. Maybe not yet, but soon. We're gonna run up in there and take the professor back. Aiden, Michael, Jovi, where are you two off to? You know you look like that guy over there, right? Jovi is an important trip to Gate Import. Big Brother is Jovi's assistant. Huh? Michael is your assistant. Uh, you must be confident with such a good assistant, Jovi. Anyways, Michael, could we ask you to hold on to that snag machine and use it? There are many other Prado Pokemon out there. If you spot one, rescue it from the criminals. I'll, uh, I'll make approaches to the authorities and other people to have Pokeballs available for sale at shops. There's more. I wanted. Uh, there's more. I wanted to give these to you, Michael. Crane memo. There are documents on Shadow Pokemon that Professor Crane and I compiled. Please read them. Yep. See, I read them in Colosseum five years ago. So don't worry. All right, let's head. Oh boy. Wow, big brother, look, look, it's the sea. The sea, it's so big. Yup. 
Listen, listen. The part shop is over there. Hurry, big brother. This way, this way. Plant. Ouchies, Jovi fell down. Hey now, where do you think you're going? Oh sorry, Jovi is sorry. It wasn't on purpose. And look what you've done. What the fuck is wrong with him? You messed up the happening look of Zook, the coolest, baddest, and most happening guy around. Sorry, doesn't begin to cut it. Hey! Fuck you! Huh? You're there? Yeah, you punk. You're with this monkshin, aren't you? Run up. And it looks like to, it looks to me like you're a trainer. You look like you'll be a million times more fun than that munchkin. I'll stomp you flat with my shadow Pokemon. I'll take that motherfucker from you. That's quite enough of that. Oh, it's the final boss. Pokemon aren't meant to be used in such a manner. Choose your place in time. Shut it. Hey, meddling old senior sinning, take your preaching to someone who cares. Or do you want me to pound you too? Perhaps I should. Huh. Do you think, uh, who do you think you are? So now you're going to pay the man and stop, uh, you're going to play the man and stop me? This gets better by the minute. Let's see you try. Bro, you got a Zangoose. Relax. You're not that good. Also, how do you know it's a Shadow Fall? I mean, like, how does he know? I have the special device. That's how I know. How does he know? I mean, someone could have told him it's a Shadow Pokemon, but it was like my understanding, like, people couldn't actually tell if a Pokemon was a Shadow Pokemon or not yet. Dude got freed up. You've done it now. Don't think you're getting away with messing with the great Zook. Remember this. Get out of here, idiot. Should I give chase? No, no, that won't be necessary. He won't come back. Leave him be. Yes, sir. Let us be on our way. And the final boss walked away. Uh, thank you. Oh, that hardly deserves such gratitude, my little lady. We did only what had to be done, nothing more. Okay. Now that we're here, we should save it. We now have Shadow Eevee and Shadow Teddy Ursa. So, there's some things we could do. In the meantime, I do want to get Pikachu mod uh, hacked in soon, but I just don't have the ability to. Now look here, boy. The Krabby Club is open only to tough trainers. I suppose I can let you in if you can beat me in a battle. Let's go for it. I don't want to use uh... I have to I have to turn a Pokemon into Pikachu is going to be the thing, which means I have to think carefully about what Pokemon I'm basically removing from the game. Like Teddy Ursa and Ursa Ring are probably good enough to run on my team. He's a sailor with a level six Pokemon. Hmm, I lose. You really are quite powerful. True. At least you understand that. You're quite strong, I must admit. I sense a fantastic potential in you as a trainer. The more you battle, the stronger your Pokemon shall grow. Okay. Let's go in here. Mm -hmm. This place is lame. Usually, if no ships come to my harbor, my business dries up, but thanks to Mr. Varric, business is booming. 
Every day the man treats everyone to free meals and drink. That Mr. Varric is like a bottomless sack of money. Interesting. One super potion. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, as much as I like the way uh, this side of the Aura region looks like, I do kind of miss the whole Desert Mad Max uh, vibe Coliseum had. Can't wait till we get back to the familiar territory. Mm. Hmm. We're the veteran act for the Krabby Club. We've been here for the longest. Okay. Go up here then. Mr. Varric tends to his many important business undertaking from Gatingport. We do a lot of traveling from here. When we get some rare time off, we like to relax and unwind leisurely. I'll ask you to keep quiet and refrain from disturbing us. Don't worry, I'll beat you in a battle later. And your sorry ass brother over there too. You of the Salamence I want. Alright. Let's go this way. Does this guy want to battle? Doesn't look like it. Jovi? Who's that? Oh. Hi, it's Jovi. Oh, Emily, Marcy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Let's get important plot stuff going. So it was you, Jovi, being harassed by that big strange man. Were you okay? Yep, strong people helped us. Big Brother was there too. So nothing bad happened. Jovi came here on an important visit. Big Brother is Jovi's assistant today. Oh, you must be Jovi's brother, Michael. I'm glad we finally met. I'm Emily. Uh, hi, Jovi's big brother. Jovi's been a very nice friend to my daughter, Emily. The elderly gentleman's name is Mr. Varric. He comes here by boat with his two assistants occasionally. There's something mysterious about him, don't you think? He supposedly is fam fabulously wealthy. Rumors like that give me shivers. I hope to become a novelist. Whenever I come across anything mysterious, I try to in imagine a story around it. Anyways, be careful in this town. There are a lot of rough, uh, rough customers about. Emily, we should be going. Yeah, that dude's the final boss. It's all right then, though. That guy is definitely the final boss. What's this guy? It's over here. Oh, this is the house. Okay. Part shop. Get what we need. Hi, you want something here? The shopkeeper's out right now. He said something about having to go out to the doctor counter or whatever it was now. Well, to the doctor's manor where he went. He said his grandson, Per, will be back from repairing the rotating bridges. So I'm supposed to mind the shop until then. But I don't know where anything is or how to ring up a sale or anything. I have no clue what to do. Doesn't matter though. It's really quiet here. I'm getting awfully bored, really. If you like, how about you help me, uh, help me while some time away. Well, help me while some time away. I've never heard that phrasing before. I've got a tale to tell you that you may find interesting. When I was younger, I sailed across all the world's seas as a navigator. Our world is huge, and thus this huge world is filled with an incredible profusion of Pokemon. Of all the Pokemon in our world, the one that I found the most interesting is Eevee. Now, Eevee is a unique Pokemon. It can evolve into five different kinds of Pokemon you see. While I sailed, I studied Eevee quite exhaustively. As a result, I obtained five items that are the key to Eevee's evolution. Oh, you say that there are, you are raising an Eevee? What a fortuitous coincidence. This must have been meant to happen. Well, let me commemorate this occasion by giving you one of the five items. There's no need to be shy about it. Go ahead, choose one. Waterstone. Yep. You're so lucky. Jovi wants something too. No. Annoying little. Following me. Alright, now we need to go help that other guy.
Only thing is, Vaporeon's move pool is going to suck for a little while. It basically gets Water Gun until, like, level 52. I have to go out of my way to get uh, Water Pulse from Mount Battle if I wanted to have a better Water type move. Which is what I'm going to have to do off screen, I guess. Mount Battle is my curse. This game is good. These games, I mean, I did it in Coliseum, though, and it wasn't too bad, so I'll just do it again. It's kind of fun. Alright, now that we have Vaporeon, we can save it and keep moving. Definitely feels a little too early to be evolving Pokemon, but it is what it is. Oh hey look, it's Zook only as a sailor. Okay, so you can battle this guy. Good. He is good tattooed on his knuckles. Wishmer and Meryl. This guy does not have Shadow Pokemon. So in this game, the mechanics of Shadow Pokemon have changed though, quite considerably. For one, um, I don't think this was true in the last game, but in this game, shadow type attacks are super effective against anything except other shadow type Pokemon, which is kind of funny. Also, not uh, there are multiple types of shadow type moves. There aren't just shadow rush. There's like shadow sky, which is like a rain uh, alternative that increases the power of shadow type moves. It's like shadow is a flat out mechanic in this game. Which is interesting because you still are incentivized to purify Pokemon. But it's nice to know that they were willing to go out of their way to polish it up. In case someone wanted to just like do a challenge where they only could use shadow type Pokemon. That'd be kind of cool. Well, who would have thought it? Me lose to a kid like you. Now if this were singing, I'd have you beat. TM45. That's a track, right? Yeah. Is my Eevee a female? It is. Okay. Seems like a decent move to give Vaporeon. Alright. I think I'm going to end the episode here, though. Um, if you guys are enjoying this, ep uh, this playthrough of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, until then, have a good one.